If you've got a home coffee roasting machine like this or bigger, chances are you're doing maintenance, regular maintenance to the machine, and you may have to change out the bearings every once in a while. That's what we're doing today. I am repacking coffee bearings with a high temperature grease. I want to show you how to do that, and that should extend the life of your bearings. So stick around. <music> All right, welcome to the Virtual Coffee Lab. Thanks for joining me today. I realize that this video may not pertain to everybody. You may not have a drum roaster or a roaster that has bearings that need to be maintained. So I do have a little bit of exciting news a little later on in the video. You can skip ahead to that if you want. It pertains to a future project. But we're going to go ahead and get started in this video here, repacking bearings. I want to talk to you today about bearings for your coffee roaster. Uh, this is a bearing for a Mill City 500 gram coffee roaster. This happens to be the front bearing and uh, I've been going through these a lot. They cook. They, uh, the grease ends up drying up and then you hear this groveling grinding noise and then eventually you start to hear a squeaking noise. And so what's happening is is that inside of this bearing, if I can pop this open, this is a cover. Think of an old pair of roller skates with ball bearings. And you'll see inside of here, um, let me pop off the bottom too, just so you can see through it. These are called sealed bearings. And these sealed bearings, um, here's the, these are the seals. And these are the bearings. And you can see on here, you can see right through the bearings um, they're all connected on a uh, kind of a line and they roll around in here. Well, there used to be grease inside of this bearing and uh, the roaster gets hot and the grease that's in here that comes direct from the manufacturer, and this isn't necessarily Mill City's issue, this is just the nature of the bearing uh, manufacturers, they just use a standard industrial grease. And uh, that grease can't withstand the high temperatures that we use uh, with our coffee roaster, so it ends up kind of weeping or burning off. Sometimes you smell a little smell or even a little smokiness uh, before you charge your roaster for the first time, especially if you're in a, in a closed space, uh, not just a, a large open uh, industrial area. And um, so what I end up doing is uh, replacing these bearings. Well, this is the last time I hope to do this for a long time. And I'll show you what I did. I basically uh, went ahead and bought a new set of bearings. You can get these online. You can get them from Mill City. And I went ahead and used um, this product, Brake Clean. And I carefully sprayed some in a cup. This comes out very powerful. So I ended up covering up the cup, putting a tissue here, and then spraying through here for just a few seconds to fill the cup up, but I didn't want it to spray all over the place. And I ended up having that um, brake clean in there. Then I took my bearing, my brand new bearing, and I took off the covers. You'll need a very fine pin. And you saw what I did in the very beginning. I ended up inserting it between this metal edge and then popping it up. And then you end up going around and lifting the seal off. I cleaned off the seals. I put the bearing in grease, or I'm sorry, in this uh, brake clean. I also used something with a bristle. Now you can use a toothbrush, but just be careful because you don't want this to spatter and get in your eyes. And I ended up um, using like a paintbrush and going around and then pushing the grease out through here. Um, and then I ended up turning it over doing the same thing. And it took a little while, it took five minutes or so for me just to go ahead and, and to do this. I actually had to put my finger in here, hold it and then kind of rub like this. And some of the grease didn't want to come off, but eventually it came off and you end up with uh, a fairly clean set of bearings. Now this is a cooked bearing. This is burned. You can actually see it, how it's still dark. But if you look carefully, you don't see any grease or any residue in there. And once you're done with your brand new bearing, cleaning this off, taking a paper towel and 
trying this thoroughly. And let it air dry for a little while too. The brake clean evaporates pretty quick. Um, I recommend you use safety glasses. Uh, have a, this area be well ventilated because it does uh, has smell. And then what you're going to do is take brand new, I'm using this high temp grease. Uh, this withstands temperatures up to 625 degrees. Um, standard bearings can barely handle uh, just over 500. And then they start to um, deteriorate, break down, and then actually uh, burn off. And that's called the drop point. So the drop point on a traditional temps are 500 degrees, and this is 625 degrees. All right, just a side note about this grease that I'm using in my video. It's not food safe grease. So I'm using this on the front bearing. It's on the outside of the machine. It does not come in contact with any type of food. The machine itself comes with just standard industrial bearings. They don't have food safe grease in them. But I know some of you have asked me before, hey Mike, you know, where do you get food safe grease to grease bearings? Um, so you just have to look online for it. I'm not sure if there's a really good high temperature food safe grease. I just happen to be using this one. So just a disclaimer, I'm not selling coffee to people and this bearing never comes in contact with uh, any sort of food or the, the beans themselves. If you have a popsicle stick, something like that, you can take some of the grease. Now I'm even leaving it in this housing because I've tried to take these out and sometimes it breaks the housing. And this is evidence of that. So you don't want to do that. And you're just going to take the grease and you're going to kind of pack it in there like so. And just continue to get more grease. And it's okay if you're a little sloppy. I'm really smearing it in there heavy. So I can push it down through, packing it down through the bearing. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and use my fingers. I'm going to push this, push this through here. And I'm going to turn the bearing over and do the same thing on the other side. You can already see it uh, kind of oozing through on the other side. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Pack that. Get a little more grease. Pack that in there. You can wear gloves if you want to wear gloves. That's probably a good suggestion. And so this is what's called packing. Whoops. Packing a bearing. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. And then once all that's done and you've packed this good with grease, so there's grease all the way through it, all right, you're going to uh, just wipe off the top. So just go like this. I'll use my toothpick or my um, popsicle or my paintbrush just to kind of get this grease out of here. I'm just trying to do this quick for the sake of the video. And do the same on the other side. Wipe it clean. And then you're going to make sure that your seals are clean. Okay. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of information about an upcoming project that I'm going to be working on with my son. We did this last year. We roasted coffee for a nonprofit organization that we're aware of. And these guys wanted to give out coffee as kind of a thank you to some of their supporters. And so we're going to be roasting the coffee for them. They wanted to highlight a Papua New Guinea coffee. And so that's what we're doing. You can see here with this shot of this 60 kilo bag of coffee that we purchased. We're going to be roasting this Papua New Guinea coffee. And this is something that we're really excited about. I love Papua New Guinea coffees. They're unique and I think that this is going to be a very interesting project. We've got to roast some different samples to learn the best profile for this coffee and then be able to replicate that over and over and over and we're doing all of this on this drum machine here. So I'll be sharing some of this with you along the way in some future videos and I hope that this is something that interests you guys. So stay tuned for that and let's get back to the video about packing coffee bearings. I didn't put them in the brake clean because I wasn't sure how the seals would handle up to the cleaner. 
and you pop these seals back down and you'll hear them kind of uh, click a little bit. They'll seat. Some of the grease will ooze out. And here's the other seal. And I pop that on the back. Uh, yeah, this is messy. It doesn't have to be messy, but uh, this is a little messy. And so I'm just gonna do this. Set this here for a second while I wipe my fingers off. And then I'm going to wipe off the bearing. This grease should last longer than the grease that comes with the bearing you have. Um, and you can, again, just buy a new set of bearings, make that change. And again, I haven't done the best job of cleaning this up. And there you go. So you've got a bearing now that's not grinding, making a noise. It's packed with high temp grease. And this is grease that should last a lot longer on, on your roaster. If you're interested in getting a machine something like this or wondering how this machine works, check this video up here that I did taking a look at the inside of a coffee roasting machine. We open this machine up and take a look inside and it's pretty interesting. Check it out.